Hey guys, welcome back to Evolving Mail. So I got something else today for the JK. My wife bought these things about two and a half months ago probably, and I have not put them on. I've been a bad husband. But today, I'm doing projects and we're gonna get them put on. I'm not, I'm not there right now. This is a, um, let me see, Salva Dakar, Salva, Salva Dakar, I don't know, door pockets. So anyway, she got these on Amazon. I have my doubts about them, but we'll have to see how they work. So if you have a JK or a model Jeep with this crappy netting, look at this, this stuff is horrible. If you use it, it stretches out. This, this right here is, a, is some Amazon grade netting. Um, so what she has got is she has these little door pockets. So let me see, there's two, one for each side, obviously. Um, I haven't done this yet. I've never installed one of these because I have never had much faith in there, but we'll find out. There's supposed to be some 3M, at least that's the kind of tape they're making it look like, look like because they have, um, it's red on there, but I doubt it's 3M. And this one is actually a little better than I thought <clears throat> because there's two bolt holes right here and there's two corresponding bolt holes right there. So I didn't know that until just now. So hold on a second. I'm going to go get the tool to take that apart and we're going to take that off. Okay, guys. So I'm back. Let me move this crap out of the way so, I can, so you can see. Okay, guys. So I'm back. And I've, got, I've got a torque set. If you don't have a torque set, I don't know what to tell you. You're going to have to go buy one, I guess. Um, they are cheap on Amazon. I bought this kit has a bunch of little pieces there's two bigger ones and smaller ones and they are kind of a lifesaver of sorts it looks like it's going to be a t excuse me a t20 and um i got a little ratchet thing here as well so i'm going to go ahead and pull these bolts out you can see her jeep is dirty we've been mudding for the last three weekends um and we the outside's clean but the inside's not and we just sort of figure what's the point of bothering we're going to be out there again so a little bolt, little screw came out, stick it in that, and a little screw out of this one. And I can already tell you what the worst part of this whole thing is going to be, and the worst part of this whole thing is probably going to be trying to get this 3M tape off with no fingernails. Um, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this stuff off right here. Maybe. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I've got a little um, razor blade. I'll try to peel this stuff up and get up, get behind this tape. And probably going to have to cut a bunch through this part of the. Oh lordy! I got a little bit more faith in this thing because it is. Um, it does have uh, screws. So a little bit more faith in it than I was previously having. Okay, one came off. All right, guys, so I got that. It's ready to go. I'll let it air for a second, not that you have to. But I've got a rag, and I'm going to hit this with um, alcohol everywhere where that tape's going to go. Um, I've already done it once. I'm doing it again. Just getting it alcoholed up. Okay. So she's alcoholed up. And going to take the first screw and put it in here. Right in this hole right here. Hopefully you can see that. Putting it there by hand to start with. Okay, and then down here at the bottom, and I'll get a little closer to show it to you when it's done. Got that in there. I'm going to wrench them down a little bit. Those are nice and tight. I move this thing out of the way right here. 
those are nice and tight now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press I'm gonna hold this 3m stuff up nice and tight for about a minute and I'll come back to you in a minute okay guys so one thing I forgot to that I didn't realize is this one edge right here let me pull this other piece off for you it's gonna make a big difference in holding this thing on so I just realized that when you take this out, there's um, you got your 3M here, there's none here, and I was like, there's no tape. And then I realized it's a thin little lip, so you're gonna actually tuck this lip into the um, surrounding door panel that holds the holds this netting in. You can keep the netting in there or you can rip it out, but we're gonna keep it in there. And just push it in, and now it holds that nice and tight. And then hold this up right there. And I don't know that that's actually gonna hold very well. So I am probably gonna, if it doesn't, if it becomes a problem, I'm gonna, um, I'm probably gonna shoot a little screw in there. And other than that, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna come back to you. And we're gonna take a look at them. Okay, guys. So I got them installed. And if we open the door, we can see this messy ass Jeep. But you can see that they are firmly in place. I did on both of them. Um, I added a little screw right there. And um, I did that because this was it has tape, but it was not really holding at all. So. Um, this is my, well, I've had 10 Jeeps over the years. This is hers, actually, but I count it as my 10th. And um, uh, I've always saved some little nicks and knacks there, but this is one of those little body panel bolts or whatever that has, um, there's no point on it, so I have to drill a little hole, and then you put it in there, but it's made to hold plastic. So it matches, it's black. I actually had just two of them. Um, I had two of them and that worked out pretty good and um so this is pretty nice we're gonna bring it in here we bring it in here and show you so it's not hitting your leg really i mean it hits your leg hits it a little bit but it's not too bad let's see if i can turn the light on can I turn the light on in here it doesn't do any good i turn the light on here it doesn't do any good so um whatever um it doesn't really hit your leg too much um it's not really i don't feel it at all to be honest, your leg goes right in that little pocket right there. This little indentation, your leg kind of goes right there. It's pretty nice. It'll hold your drink off-road, or in this case, got some hand sanitizer. Um, we come around here to the other side, and it's the same thing. It's on there. It actually looks pretty good. The the plastic kind of matches the plastic. Let me take you back over to this side. The plastic really does kind of match pretty good, the um, style. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, and they're really not bad. I don't know what she paid for them, probably like 15 bucks or something. But I'll leave the link below and um, check them out because it is much better than this cargo net. And I have to say that it works really well. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking me out. Please hit like and subscribe. Um, hit that little bell so you see when I got other videos coming out. Please check me out on Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok, and uh, at Evolving Mail. And uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, guys, I really appreciate it. And peace out. <laughs>